A scientific expedition veers off course and is caught in a prehistoric time warp, a land unknown. Tuesday on the 4 o'clock movie. Steve Zabriskie along with Tim McCarver back here on Banner Day at Shea as the parade continues. And there have been so many. you got to think they're going out and coming back in again, Tim. Oh, I love a parade, though. <laughs> That's the old line. Uh, I love a parade. Has to be at least 500 banners already gone through. When did they start? About 2.45? Yeah, about an hour ago. This is the biggest one ever, apparently. And we also should point out to the camera crew here at WR, giving up their leisure time here as they turn those cameras on these banners. They do a great job. In the past, the Mets used to always come out with their banner at the end of Banner Day. Usually it was done with cards, and the Mets would run out in the field, led by Casey Stengel with his broken leg having healed in that limp that he always had because of that broken leg. And the Mets would then give their banner featuring the fans. <laughs> Warming up in the bullpen, huh? <laughs> A young lady with child. I think that was for real? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Certainly looked at Since my wife is expecting in about a month, I have a somewhat experienced eye with which to perceive that, I guess. You're considered a professional <laughs> in that department. <laughs> no, I just have recent experience. <laughs> There's a very, very well done banner right there. The Gremlins from the relatively new movie. Even Gremlins are Mets fans. on the stars. <laughs> well, again, if you joined us late, we want to let you know of a roster change that the Mets made today. The Mets now carrying 11 pitchers at this particular point with the call up today of Wes Gardner, who at Tidewater was one and two with 20 saves and an excellent ERA of 1.5. Gardner will wear number 27 and reserve infielder Ross Jones, who was just recalled a week or so ago, will go back to Tidewater to make room on the roster for Gardner. Gardner had played with Dwight Gooden at Lynchburg last year. And he comes with a fine reputation. And pretty good stats. Stat numbers are outstanding, 20 saves. For a ball club that's not winning that many ball games. He might have all the saves they have. Mm. Well, now they're turning the crowd of banner paraders behind home plate and through the opening at the backstop. They're doing that to clean up the outfield area. <laughs> They've got part of the ground crew out there raking up debris down the left field line. There's the end of the parade. 
And the roar in the background. <laughs> the crowd tells it all. Their chant of let's play ball and then a roar upon seeing the final banner enter the stadium. So we'll have a little time after the banner parade to fill in as they have just informed us that the field will have to be put in readiness for the second game of this doubleheader. The Cubs winning the first game by a score of 3 0. Cubs now leading this series 2 to 1. And they have pulled up to within two and a half games of the New York Mets. 